Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to make cordage. I'm just going to take you on a little bit of a nature walk, show you four or five different trees and plants that I like to use. All these are just kind of my favorites from my area. This stuff works really, really well for me. I'll even show you how to make some cordage out of dog bane using the reverse twist. But just keep watching. I'll show you guys how it's done. A lot of the time you can just take a stick or your, like I did my shovel and just start scraping away that top layer of those leaves and you can find cordage like this right here. This is just a root. And you get a lot of cordage out of the ground just by pulling up a root. I probably got about eight feet of cordage just like that. I mean, you can make really strong cordage out of dog bane and yucca and things, but I mean, this stuff works really well for cordage and it's already made for you. You don't have to worry about working any harder than you have to for this stuff. So just kind of keep clearing it away. Get what you need. You can spend several hours making cordage out of plants or you can just find these roots use them. I'd rather use the roots. It's a lot less work for sure. A good way to tell a potential candidate for cordage is just by grabbing your material, whatever it is, if it's, if it's tree bark or roots, you know, vines, whatever you can find, you can take it and if you can make a knot out of it, just like we did there, then you know that that's going to be a good candidate for some cordage. This is going to work excellent. In my area, this is definitely my favorite go-to plant for cordage. There's a lot of it around here. You can see all this right here. Plus, I got a bunch over there and on the other side over there. I got this stuff all over the place. And you can make a lot of cordage with this stuff. This is the yucca plant. I'll tear some of this apart so you can see all the little fibers in here. These fine little fibers like we got right here see all those but this stuff is awesome cordage a lot of the time you can take a stick or in this case a shovel and if you can find a good pine tree you can just take your shovel and kind of clear out some of this debris just keep using your stick or your shovel just to pull that debris and some of the dirt out you can actually find some pine root like we got right here and you can take it out and use it as quarters. All right, you can see what we got. Got quite a bit here. You don't need a, to take the whole tree. You don't want to kill it. You just need to take enough for the job that you got. I only took about probably four feet. You need to store it, just kind of wrap it around itself into a nice little circle, just like that. You can use it for something later. This here is the best cordage we got in my area. This is dog bane. And you can see that this one is actually dead, and so is this piece I got in my hand. But this stuff makes crazy strong cordage, guys. This stuff is what Native Americans like to use for bow strings and things like that. That's how strong this cordage is. Here's a closer look at that dog bane, guys. Like I said, this is dead. It died off. But this stuff is great. Again, just kind of break it off at the limbs where the limbs start coming off up here. You see how they are right there. Just gonna snap it off right there. It's gonna be kind of hard to break this because those fibers are so strong on it. See, I can't even break this apart. This plant was actually shown to me by Joshua Hamlin at the Sigma 3 school. I went up there to help him with a shelter build and this is one of the plants that he showed us on a nature walk we went on. This stuff is, you can see how strong that is. But it took a couple of times going around the group before somebody could actually break this cordage that we made. He made a piece of rope with it. And, I mean, I couldn't break it. I tried pretty hard. 
went around to a couple more guys and they couldn't break it. One other guy finally ended up busting so What you do is you just want to take a, you want the dead stuff, the stuff that kind of died off in winter. Here's a closer look at what you're supposed to do. Just take these and just kind of squeeze them up and down the, the length of your piece of wood you're using here. Just kind of crush it just like that. If you want to, you can just take it just like it is and just kind of keep pushing out the wood and just taking those fibers. Sometimes it works better like that actually. Just take it like right here, break it, just grab your bark and just kind of push out that wood just like we did there. You can do that all the way down. All right, what you're going to want to do with this, I've showed you this several times in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and show you because I haven't showed anyone on, on how to do it with dog bane. And it's pretty much the same old, same old, just like we've been doing in our other videos. You just want to just take your cordage, pinch it, just like we did here, kind of twist it. Push it with this with this hand and pull it towards you with this hand. You just want it to kind of make a just kind of keep doing it until you get a loop. Okay, you're just gonna want to take that, just pinch it with this hand. A little bit closer to look at it. Just kind of pinch it with this hand. And take this hand and roll it. And then we're going to grab the other piece down here. Okay. Going to grab this piece down here with this finger, our middle finger, and just bring it up. Just twist it, bring it up. If you need to, lick your fingers just so you can get some more leverage on it. It's, it's kind of hard to grab sometimes. Just keep doing this. The entire way all the way down if you get to the point that you've run out of cordage like I did right here what you can do is just grab another piece okay we got this piece and just kind of add it to it just put it right here the same spot your as your one piece is or your little short piece is. Again, use your fingers, get your fingers wet, and just do the same thing. Just keep winding this thing up. All right, you can see right here, this is one of the ends we got from the pieces of cordage that we added to it as we were twisting. You can take a knife and just cut those off to make it look nice. You don't have to do it, but you know it makes it look nicer. But I made just about a foot or so of cordage. Just enough to kind of show everybody how to do it. But you can see how strong this stuff is. See, that's why this is the best cordage in my area. It's not my favorite. Yuck is my favorite only because it's so easy to find around here. But this stuff is definitely the strongest. If I had more of this around, this would be my favorite. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. You can make some really good cordage just out of natural materials. These are just, you know, four or five of the stuff that I like to use. There's a lot of different material you can use for cordage. You just kind of have to know what to look for. And remember to do the test for your, whatever you're going to try to use as cordage. As long as it turns into a knot, then that's going to be a pretty good candidate for cordage. But I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you guys learned something from it. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments. And as always, keep your blade sharp and your mind sharper. See you next time. Thanks for watching.